In order to use Soundtrap, of course, the first thing you need to do is import your audio track. So when you're on this screen, you can see that it says import file right here. And I have my interview that I did saved uh, in my downloads. So if I come to my downloads, here it is, Curiosity Conversation. So simply open that up. And it might just take a moment here. Okay, so here it is. Um, it's this bottom track, and that's the full 20 plus minute conversation that I had with Kurt Webb. You can see that the top track is where I've already started to do some editing of this 20 minutes because I want to get it down to really maybe about three to four minutes worth of audio that I want to put on my blog. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this track and just focus on the one that I've already been working on. So what I want to show is just a, a couple of the ways to edit. Um, the editing is really pretty simple on Soundtrap. It takes a little bit of getting used to. So you can see I have these other clips, short clips, that I'm pretty happy with. Um, but I want to cut this one down. So right now you can see that I'm at the 9 minute 37 mark down here. And I've already listened to it, and on a piece of paper sitting next to me on my desk, I've written down a couple of times. I actually want to start this clip at the 12-minute, three-second mark. So I want to cut out about uh, two and a half minutes worth of audio here. So you can see when I bring my cursor over to the edge, I get the little arrows and the little um, message that says, Adjust Start. Uh, all I need to do simply is drag this over. And then if I come back and move my slider, actually what I should do, first of all, now I think about it, is move my slider to the 12 minute, three second mark. So I'm looking down below and it looks like 12 second, 12 minutes, three seconds, 0.9 tenths is about as close as I'm gonna get it. So now I can come back over and slide and know that if I get this lined up, there we go. So now I'm at the 12 minute, three second mark. Um, when I listened to it, the next thing I decided was I want to let that play until 12 minutes, 55 seconds. So let's see where I can get it to here. There we go. 12 minutes, 55.6. So now with my uh, slider right at the 12 minute 55 second mark. I want to come over here to edit. And you can see uh, right here, split. So now I have split that clip. And if I come drag back over, one thing that I notice is that when you split a clip, it sends you back to the beginning. So that can be a little bit confusing, but I know that I'm working with the end of my audio. So at this point, this right here should be the clip that I want to save. And I can just come over here just to make sure that's true. I wanted to do was to, and my wife, I believe it's the same. And after listening to it, I know that, yes, this is what I was looking it's for. Safer area. And again, but just to I check the up, end. Rough. And so um, actually you can tell or I can tell that it went a little bit over. I really wanted to end it with uh, Kurt saying rough. So if I just scooch this in a tiny bit and bring this back over and it was rough. And, and it looks like I still need to bring it in a little bit more. This I have found is the... Um, Maybe the most challenging part of using Soundtrap is really it's that attention to detail, which I know can be somewhat difficult and frustrating, time consuming, but you know, it's about craftsmanship and it's it's if you want that that really sharp finished product that you need to make sure you are trying to get your edits as clean as possible. So let's listen one more time. But where I grew up, it was raw. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to work on the last part of my editing, um, and then, uh, you know, hopefully I will be ready to uh, upload this as one complete audio track. Thanks.